Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. The infamous car review scene is back. Unless this is like we gotta, we're going real high budget now. Uh, this isn't even a car, this is just a carefully crafted set with a green screen back there. And, and really, I got, I'm, I'm sitting in bed right now, but I'm making you think that I'm in a car. Maybe I'm just in a car. Either way, we're trying out a new item from Wendy's. And Wendy's is one of those places, right, they're big. Everyone knows about Wendy's, you know. We see the commercials, the ads, but they don't put out too many new products. You know, they get a release here and there, uh, but not necessarily at the frequency of, say, a place like Burger King or uh, Taco Bell. So anyway, I think it's been a while. It's at least been a couple weeks since I tried out something from Wendy's. But this has been making the rounds. People are kind of talking about it. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to get in on the action and uh, see what this is all about. So here's what it is. Wendy's has a new sandwich lineup that has just come out, just released. This is their bacon jalapeno cheeseburger. It's an easy name this time, easy to remember, right? Straight to the point. Bacon jalapeno cheeseburger. And uh, you would you would think, right? Well, this obviously has bacon, and it's got those those jalapeno peppers, and it must have cheese on it. And indeed, it does. Here's what it comes with, and then we'll talk a little bit about it, and we'll get into it. All right, the bacon jalapeno cheeseburger. Uh, it's available for around six, seven dollars, depending on location, right? The price is going to vary a little on the pricier side, especially considering it's fast food. It comes with a quarter pound beef patty, pickled jalapenos. Not those pan-seared jalapenos this time around. Applewood smoked bacon, American cheese, fried onion strings, like the onion strings. So already it's a pretty big sandwich, but they said, you know what? We just got to go all out with this one because there's more. Yes, indeed. All right. It's got savory cheese sauce. So I guess that American cheese isn't good enough. And then it's got smoky jalapeno sauce. It's got all this stuff. So I'm expecting a spicy cheesy burger, a little bit of maybe that, that onion, that bacon there, and hopefully it'll mix together well. Now, you know, one little uh, trend, and I, I think I already mentioned, price for this, I got it for $5.99. I've seen it publicized on some websites at $6.49. So again, the price could vary based on your location. And uh, again, it's straightforward, so I think I'm done with my notes for now. Now, here's what I just got to say before we get into it, okay? Recently, there's been a trend of spicier uh, items in the, the world of fast food, right? A few videos back, I tried out the uh, Carolina Reaper fries from Taco Bell. And then after that, I tried out the Szechuan chicken tenders, right? Two spicy items. And now we have the bacon jalapeno cheeseburger from Wendy's. And, you know, I gotta tell you, jalapenos are a, a pretty new fad when it comes into the world of fast food. I want to give you a little brief history about it. You see, jalapenos originally were made in the mid-90s by these two brothers in Seattle. They originally were starting an alternative rock band, then they got into cooking, and they, they cooked up these things called jalapenos in their garage. And it was something that was just underground, like, you know, in a, a whole subculture. But it wasn't, it didn't get to the mainstream until recently because of a lot of Instagram influencers. And uh, it's just something that's really taken off in 2019. And they said, we're going to incorporate these jalapenos onto a burger. Could, could you believe that? And uh, if you thought I was serious there, you just, you just need to, to re-examine things. <laughs> but yeah, jalapenos, though, it's always a classic, always a staple. And uh, one thing that's going to be interesting to try out anyway, is this the best new burger? Best new burger from Wendy's. We're going to find out. Let's see what it looks like anyway. Okay. Certainly, I could smell, you know what? Let me tell you the truth. I smell those jalapenos right now. I smell them. This might be a spicy one. I don't know. All right, here it is. Let's hold it up to the camera. Let's, let's get this going here good enough. There's that close-up, right? There's the picture perfect. You can see it actually has the jalapeno seeds there. You can kind of see a little bit of everything, right? You can see the uh, that's the jalapeno sauce on the top, that orange type of sauce. See a jalapeno sticking out? You can see the cheese slices. You can see that there's a little piece of bacon uh, right over there. You can see the beef patties. 
Um, I guess the cheese sauce is mixed in there somewhere, but it pretty much has everything that they said it was going to have. It looks like it does have the potential of being a messy sandwich anyway, though it's... I mean, it's fairly organized. It's not like it's dripping with stuff. At least as of now, but we'll see what happens. So anyway, you know what's on it, I know what's on it, we all know what's on it. Is it any good, though? Let's find out. So it's the Bacon Jalapeno Cheeseburger from Wendy's. It's going in. Oh yeah, let me tell you, this is a lot more spicy than those those Carolina Reaper fries from Taco Bell. A lot more spicy than the Szechuan tenders. I mean, you know, jalapenos are one of those things that can be spicy, or you can eat something with the jalapenos and you're like, eh, not really that spicy. It's all about the seeds. These have the seeds in them, and let me just tell you right now, these this is spicy. I gotta I gotta admit. These are not uh, little watered-down jalapenos, and that jalapeno sauce has a kick to it. Let me just say that. Let me take another bite for you. Yeah, there are a lot of jalapenos on it. If you're more sensitive to spice, and I mean, I, you know, I like my buffalo wings. I'll eat the, some spicy stuff. It's not like I'm someone that'll just go crazy and get the hottest sauce in the world usually, but I can sometimes deal with the spice. But let me just say, this is a type of sandwich that I think you do need a drink to uh, accompany it. Because what I really feel on my tongue and in the corners of my mouth there, I do feel that burning sensation. And thankfully, I got this wrapped up, so disaster was averted. Right, all right, the burger patty is juicy. It's a quarter pound of beef. You know, it is a good quantity for what it is, and you can definitely taste that freshness there. Bacon is crispy, and it's a cheesy sandwich. Let me just say that, too, and you can really taste that crunch that the onions have there. But the big star of this dish is the spice. Let me just say that outright. The spice is the most noticeable, by far, characteristic here. So if you were sitting here and you were saying, yeah, I really want to taste those onion strings or the bacon, which just a little tad bit of uh, jalapeno, yeah, you'll be disappointed. This is a burger that you want to get. It's going to pack that punch in the form of that spiciness because not only, of course, like I said, the jalapenos, every bite, you taste that jalapeno pepper, you get that little crunch to it, you know? You bite in, that firmness. You know there's going to be a burst of spice in there. And then that creamy jalapeno sauce that's there, too, uh, really just works in there. And, uh, yeah, every bite is going to be a spicy one. Uh, I, this is probably the hottest sandwich I've tried from, from Wendy's. Now, I don't mean for you to take this as an exaggeration, that this is, like, as, as you know, the hottest thing in the world. But Wendy's is a place that doesn't really have a lot of spicy food on their menu. You know, they're more toned down. Yeah, they got the spicy chicken sandwich, but that's like a black pepper seasoned chicken patty. That's not bad. Uh, this is definitely a lot more spicy than that. So, spice is the big the big star here. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you can taste the cheese. The one thing that I was missing on it, and I will just double check my notes real quick, was the uh, the savory cheese sauce. I saw the American cheese slices. I didn't notice like any creamy cheese sauce on it. I don't think we're really going to be paying too much attention for that, uh, because everything else is definitely there and it stands out. But overall, it's a pretty tasty sandwich. I think when you get this, you're going to be expecting that spice. You're going to be expecting that jalapeno flavor, right? That's what you're buying this for. And you're going to get exactly what you asked. 
it's gonna pack that punch, it's gonna pack that spice, and uh, I don't think you'll really be disappointed for what it is. My biggest complaint is really just the price. Do I think it's like a $7, $6 sandwich? No. Uh, I think it should be, you know, five, four dollars if anything else. So that's my one complaint. I think it's a little overpriced, but at least know this, if you're willing to fork over the dough for it, uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed because you'll definitely get a flavorful, spicy sandwich. So therefore, out of 10, what am I going to be rating uh, the bacon jalapeno cheeseburger from Wendy's? I'm going to be giving it a 6.1 out of 10, a little bit above average because again, I was expecting that spice, but it was even a little more than, than what I was even expecting of it. So I think it did beat out those standards just by a little bit. And that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Uh, do keep in mind, this Thursday, it's going to be a fun podcast coming up. Everyone's still talking about Area 51. I'm going to be hearing your comments on the show. So if you want to check it out, youtube.com slash V-O-R-W podcast. And if you want to help support the show, the radio show, podcast, and this channel, make sure you donate. Uh, join the community of patrons, patreon.com slash the report of the week. Makes it fun to support this. Or if you want to donate via PayPal, you can do so at V-O-R-W info at gmail.com. Thank you. Take care, and I'll see you again in a couple of days with another video. I'm your host, The Report of the Week.